Hi friends, this is Dr. Chinmay Surve, a PhD in immunology and currently a research fellow in Albert Einstein Institute, New York. Today I'll be talking about coronavirus and how long does it stay on you and around you and what are the agents we can use to kill it or to make it disinfective. I just wanted to go briefly over how coronavirus spread because this is important in understanding how we can tackle it. So coronavirus spreads when an infected individual coughs or sneezes and the cough and sneeze liquid droplets contain the virus. If a person who, who is uninfected gets in contact with this lip, liquid droplets can get infected. This can, contact can also be through touching infected objects and then touching your eyes, nose or mouth. So here is a paper which was recently published. The author Van Dorelem et al. published a paper in New England Journal of Medicine where they did experiments about coronavirus infectivity, coronavirus COVID-19 and one more coronavirus as a control. What they found was coronavirus COVID-19 survived about three hours in the air and four hours on copper. On cardboard, it survived 24 hours, which includes paper or paper-based material. On plastic and steel, it can survive up to two to three days. Uh, the maximum period of the ex experiment was three days. So that's why uh, plastic and steel were reported at th as three days maximum. Meanwhile, in the Indus Valley, we always use ca copper plates. Uh, here is one more water storage unit from the 1850s in India and what our grandfathers used to use. It almost seems like we have lost all this knowledge which our ancestors have acquired and have become less knowledgeable than we were before. Of course, if you look at Ayurveda and all the literatures, they clearly mention the use of copper for healing and medicative properties along with antimicrobial activity. So if you, uh, if you see Copper has the least survival value for viruses of any surfaces which they tested. We really need to go back to our ancestral knowledge and learn more from them. So how do we kill coronavirus? Can heat kill coronavirus? As uh, with all flu viruses, coronavirus also survives better in colder weather. Uh, at 4 degrees Celsius, it can survive up to 28 days. At room temperature, it can survive up to nine days and at higher temperatures, the, the coronavirus infectivity reduces significantly. So the survival and infectiveness of coronavirus re reduces dramatically. Similarly, higher humidity increases the chance of uh, the virus surviving. This is again a study published uh, by Camp et al. Uh, in one of the journals. I'll again post a link in the video description below. So how do we kill coronavirus beyond heat? Uh, what are the cleaning products we can use and how much exposure of cleaning products do we need to kill these viruses? So hydrogen peroxide, ethanol and sodium hypochlorite bleach can inactivate the virus. This again is a study pro uh, produced by Camp et al. They studied coronavirus, not necessarily COVID-19, but uh, if you see the viral code proteins, uh, they have similar structure because coronaviruses come from the same family of viruses and only one minute exposure to uh, cleaning agents like ethanol which is 70% 60 to 70% or 0.1% sodium hydrochloride or hydrogen peroxide can inactivate the virus similarly they also reported other products but they are not readily available to consumers so to conclude Coronavirus COVID-19 is highly infectious. It's important to avoid its spread. We can avoid its spread by using personal protective equipment like mask, eyewear, earplug and cap. If you are infected, avoid any family members and call doctor immediately. And you, we are the only ones who can prevent the spread of coronavirus. I would like to thank you for listening to my video and uh, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.